Now, as you know, I'm a sportsy guy. And the biggest news in sports to, well, yeah, pretty much today is Anthony Edwards. Is he really like Mike? Is he next? Is he the next basketball messiah? Let's go watch this video, and we'll talk about it afterwards. All right, this video is from Get Up. Anthony Edwards, like Mike. Noon Entertainment was a game seven in Cleveland. The Cavaliers had to right, won a now playoff let's go series to the, uh, without um, LeBron James. There we go. Not one who was prone to hyperbole. Tweeted, I have an NBA friend who coached in 16 straight playoffs, including a couple of times against MJ. Says Anthony Edwards is the closest thing he has seen to MJ and Kobe in his lifetime. At 22 years old, he's in that conversation. And our Steve hmm. Aside from appearance, <laughs> yeah, I, I do see a lot of similarities with Edwards and MJ, particularly the jump shot. It's very reminiscent to MJ. Um, those who have not watched MJ play, what are you doing? Get on, get on his highlights like ASAP. And you tell me if it's close or not. I believe it is. You know, Stephen A. Smith, and he's only twenty-two years old. But Jesus. But Jesus. All right. Jordan-esque, but he's physically more mature than what Jordan was at this stage Definitely. of his career. Yeah. Remember mm. when Jordan got beat up by the Pistons, he had to go back mm. into the weight room. That's when he saw him take the, the next step. Jordan's natural build was... You know what? At this stage in their careers, Anthony Edwards has the way better team. <laughs> way better team. Um... I want to quote something from JJ Reddick. During Jordan's time, he started playing with plumbers and electricians. But he was still going off. So, take that as you will. But, one thing I want to say is ESPN, calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down. Here's my conspiracy theory. The NBA is getting overrun by international players via Nikola Jokic, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Victor Wembanyama, Wembanyama, to name a few. And as an American, You know, it's, 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 I kind of, I, I see it. I see why they want to push the Edwards agenda because he is homegrown. And <laughs> honestly, in the top five, majority of them are international players. The best player in the NBA right now is Nikola Jokic. So. That being said, Edwards versus Nikola Jokic is pretty much what this second round is going to be. And call me unpatriotic, but using my common sense and my casual basketball knowledge, Nikola Jokic will come back next game. It's one game, one fucking game, ESPN. And oh, Anthony Edwards is Michael Jordan. He's the next Messiah. Calm the fuck down. I guarantee you the narrative tomorrow, because I think we play tonight. The narrative tomorrow is going to be oh, Nicole is still the best player in the world. It's stupid, man. Like, the narratives change every fucking day. And it pisses me off. I'm not... I'm not hounding on Anthony Edwards. I think he's a fantastic basketball player. I love watching him. But... This is kind of... Being blown up by ESPN. To push their... Agenda. And I don't like that. 
Not that I don't know that this is what they always fucking do, but it's, it's fucking annoying. But what do you guys think? Do you think Edwards deserves to be put on that pedestal at this point in time? I think it's too early. I'm not saying he's not going to be in that pedestal in a few years, but at this point in time, it's too fucking early. It's one fucking game out of a seven game series like come on man let's just chill out let's just fucking chill out can we chill out guys please <laughs> all right i'll be right back